What's up, cinematographers and filmmakers of YouTube? Ryan Constantino here with Upper State Entertainment. And in this video, I wanna share with you today all of the different ways that I use a cinematography focus chart to do things like determine characteristics of a lens and a whole lot more. Let's take a look. Focus charts allow cinematographers, filmmakers, and gearheads alike to uncover the technical intricacies within their own camera lenses and cameras. Focus charts are a must when it comes to resolution analysis, color rendition comparison, distortion identification, and more. You can use a focus chart in many different ways, but cinematographers will use them in identifying four major aspects of a lens or a camera. Distortion, color rendition, sharpness and focus, and light handling. To set up your chart and begin testing, hang your chart as level as possible. It's important for it to be level as being skew could alter the results of your tests. Next, place your camera in front of your chart exactly far enough away so the chart fills the frame of your camera and lens's field of view. If you're using a zoom lens, simply choose the focal length you want to test and place the camera at the right distance to fill the frame. Now you're ready to test. There are three types of distortion present in modern camera lenses, pincushion, barrel, and mustache. Pincushion distortion is when the center of the frame is clean, but as the image progresses towards the edges of the frame, it gets stretched out and magnified towards the corners. This type of distortion is prevalent in telephoto and longer length lenses. Barrel distortion is essentially the inverse of pincushion where the image is squashed inwards. You can find this type present in many wide angle lenses and is the classic look that the GoPro brand is known for. Mustache distortion can be considered somewhat of a combination of the barrel and pincushion together. Some people refer to this as a complex distortion where the image sort of bulges out in the middle. Take a moment to look at your chart. Which kind does your lens have? Perhaps there is little to none. That's also possible. Many lenses on the market today contain several pieces of glass lined up in a very precise and calculated way to allow the manufacturer, you know, the ability to fine tune the performance to cost ratio of the lens. Differences in optical glass between makes and models can make a huge difference in final image output. Many higher performance lenses will achieve a high contrast image which translates often to clarity. Some older lenses like vintage lenses and other models will have attributes such as reduced contrast, you know, milky raised blacks and softer contrast. Accuracy is in some ways a relative term. Every manufacturer, while sometimes subtle, can have slightly different color accuracy based on materials and construction. For example, one lens might be slightly more yellow and another more blue. You know, and this makes sense too, because if the glass itself is not perfectly, perfectly clear, then, you know, it's gonna have a little bit of a tint in it. While obvious in some situations, the more intricate aspects of a lens sharpness are easily identified with a focus chart. For example, does the lens being tested have a consistent sharpness throughout the frame, or is it just sharp in the center and then slightly less sharp towards the edges of the frame? Take a moment to rack focus your lens through the focus range. Start at close focus and rack all the way to infinity. Does the image breathe in and out? You'll notice an overall image shift or slight zoom in or out if it does. Take a look at the out of focus areas. What does the shape look like? Is it smooth or does it have hard edges? What does the bokeh look like in the center versus the edge of the frame? There are some lens makers that incorporate a back focus adjustment onto the lens itself, which allows the user to adjust the back focus of the lens in the field. It helps tremendously to have a focus chart of high print quality to adjust it to. Every lens design is unique and light handling characteristics plays a major role in what the end result of the lens looks like. Looking at the high contrast areas of a focus chart, you can see several traits that identify a lens. If the light white areas glow or spill into the dark areas, this is called halation. Also in the high contrast areas where dark or black meets white light areas, if you see a colored lines where the edges meet, that's chromatic aberration. Oftentimes, the colored lines are purple or green. And finally, if you look towards the edges of the frame, you might see a reduction in light or a vignette in the corners. Understanding these aspects of the lens you are testing can allow you to make a very informed decision about lenses you will choose to film your production. It's important to keep in mind that each one of these aspects do not make or break a lens, and also do not determine its value. Not every expensive lens is super sharp, and not every lens that has a lot of distortion is undesirable for the right movie. So get out there and test as many lenses as you can to find the perfect one for your story. 
Okay, that wraps up today's video on how to use a cinematography focus chart. If you wanna pick up a chart of your own, be sure to check out the link in the description below to my Etsy shop. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And until next time, thanks so much for watching.